here at the 2015 International CES, we're seeing how unmanned systems helps to revolutionize the way we capture, monitor, and assist our world. So we brought like an fl autonomous flying camera, so it's not really a drone. It's a drone that follows you and films you without having to, to pilot it. So it's just basically, you take your phone, place it in the air where you want, and you can ride, you can do whatever you want, run, and it will just follow you and do like all sorts of camera movements so that, that you can... Like, it's as if you would have your own helicopter in a way. Unit sales of consumer drones expect to hit 400,000 in 2015. What we brought is a, a new device called the Tracer One. The Tracer One is a visually intelligent smart camera that uh, is able to track and follow its user. And it does that by locking onto a unique identifier on that person's clothing, such as like a logo or a pattern. Once it's locked onto that logo, you can then click it into one of our devices. This is a click in and click out scenario. I pop it onto the Tracer, the Flyer One, and now that it's flocked in here, it's going to fly up in the air and it's going to follow you into action anywhere you go. And it's doing that simultaneously as it's streaming live to the internet via the Trace Live network. So we're capturing incredible footage and content uh, from action sports enthusiasts with one of these devices following them into action. The unmanned systems marketplace at CES Tech East spans 7,600 square feet and features 13 groundbreaking exhibitors. A drone that is designed for autonomous video shooting in action sports. Uh, so what, how it works, it tracks uh, a tracking device that uh, an athlete or an enthusiast is wearing on uh, its wrist and that's how it knows where it has to point the camera at. So you launch the drone by a push of a button, you set a distance uh, from you, a height and an angle you want the drone to maintain and you're good to go. You just do, do, do what you love to do. And the drone will make sure you are captured from above. It will make sure that uh, the video is stabilized and you are always perfectly framed. Once you're done, again, by a push of a button, you just, you'll make it land. Of course, it was also very important to make it foldable because our guys want to store it in backpack and carry it around very conveniently. So this is how the drone folds. You see, these are foldable props. The arms come, come out and uh, fold back nicely and uh, really tight. Won't take a lot of space in your, uh, in your backpack. Revenue from drone sales are expected to exceed $1 billion in just five years. Yeah, so the WinBot 9 is the newest WinBot that Ecovax Robotics uh, has come out with. We're using sealed suction capabilities that, that the suction's created that, that adheres the WinBot to the unit microfiber pad on all four sides so you can clean it. Once it gets dirty, you can throw it in your laundry. As you see it cleaning, what it's doing is it's coming up and it'll go up and over. So you can clean a window all the way down to uh, 18 inch width, as well as you know, 30, 40, 50 tall window without any obstructions. We also have floor cleaners with the D-Bot. This year we're showing, debuting the Atmobot, the robotic air purifier as well as a family bot, home, home entertainment and security, the connected home. On the commercial side of the business, we're showing a retail Benny bot that interacts with the consumer at the point of purchase, as well as a solar panel cleaner as well. Unmanned systems are starting to take flight at the 2015 International CES. For CES TV, I'm Justin Siraj.